Welcome to all of you. Now we discuss the cop weaving method to study the nature of the solution of difference equation by cop weaving method. Co-weaving method. What is co-weaving method? An important graphical method for determining the behavior of solutions. First order difference equation is an iterative method known as co-weaving method. Without solving the nonlinear first order difference equation, we can determine the behavior of that solution by the Cobb weaving method. So here the horizontal axis is xt and the vertical axis is xt plus 1 and this diagonal is xt plus 1 equal to xt equation and this curve is given by xt plus 1 equal to fxt and the intersecting point of the curve xt equal xt plus 1 equal to fxt and the diagonals xt plus 1 equal to xt uh, gives the equilibrium point. So the steps for co-weaving method first we consider the first order difference equation xt plus 1 equal to fxt where it is 0 equal to x of x0. Draw a horizontal line at xt axis and the vertical line at x t plus 1 axis. In the x t x t plus 1 plane, uh, we consider x t as x axis and x t plus 1 as y axis. Uh, for uh, simplicity, so this horizontal axis is x axis and vertical axis is y axis. And draw the reproduction curve f x t equal to xt plus 1 equal to fxt that is y equal to fx and the diagonal line xt plus 1 equal to xt that is y equal to x. Next plot the initial value x0 on xt axis and then move vertically upward to the reproduction curve y equal to fx and mark the point x0 comma x1 on the reproduction curve. So first uh, locate the initial point x0 then uh, go vertical up, vertical, uh, vertical, uh, up to the reproduction curve. So this point is x0 comma x1 and this x1 point is x1 and then uh, go uh, horizontally up to the diagonal line this point is x1 x1 and then go vertically up to reproduction curve this point is x2 comma x1 and then go horizontally up to diagonal line this point is x2 comma x2 and then go vertically up to reproduction curve then go horizontally and ultimately uh, you uh, go to the equilibrium point uh, if it if it converge uh, or uh, diverge uh, far away from equilibrium point. So I move horizontally left to right to point x1 y1 x1 x1 diagonal line xt equal plus 1 equal to xt that is y equal to x axis and this step horizontally then vertically uh, then again horizontally and this procedure is continued between the reproduction curve y equal to fx and the diagonal line y equal to x to obtain a set of solution points plotted in the horizontal t axis x t axis so the solution this x0 initial approximation then first approximation x1 second approximation x2 uh, uh, the solution uh, approximation of the solutions 
equilibria points equilibria of the system one correspond to the points where the reproduction curve y equal to fx intersects with the diagonal line y equal to x in the above figure x star is an equilibrium point so uh, here the intersecting point is this point uh, with the reproduction curve is this and the vertical line even is the uh, diagonal line this so intersecting point is this so x coordinate of this intersecting point this x star is the equilibrium point of the of the equation difference equation x t plus one equal to x t stability of equilibria an equilibrium is stable if your solution uh, that starts near the equilibria near the equilibria uh, move closer to the equilibrium unstable an equilibrium is unstable if solutions that start near the equilibrium move away from the equilibrium is unstable now the discrete single species model first we consider density independent growth uh, let xt be the population size in the th generation of a single species population assume that each individual lives are offspring before dying then the model is described by xt plus one equal to rxt here r is positive uh, is the net reproduction rate usually it is positive uh, this is the discrete version of the malthusian model dxt equal to rx or exponential model the equation one is linear first order constant coefficients homogeneous difference equation growth and decay model and if the x0 is the initial solution of the equation one then the solution of equation one is given by xt equal to r to the power t x0 already we have discussed in the previous class so if r is greater than one each individual leaves more than one descendant that is offspring the population grows geometrically each individual leaves more than one descendant is r r is greater than one when each individual leaves more than one descendant of springs that is offspring the population grows geometrically if r lies between 0 and 1 individual leaves fewer than one descendant the population declines geometrically solution xt approach the origin if r is less than 1 in magnitude and this solution diverge if r is greater than 1 in magnitude so uh, when r is greater than 1 so uh, if we plot the uh, solution curve uh, this xt population uh, basis density uh, density and this t time series so for r is greater than 1 we get this curve this this is the, uh, the malthusian model as malthusian model if r lies between 0 and 1 so xt uh, decreasing with time t so geometric decay and this geometric growth and by co-weaving the co-weaving for geometric growth uh, this line dotted line is y is equal to x that is xt plus 1 equal to xt and this line is xt plus 1 equal to rxt if r is greater than 1 so this line is the um, reproduction uh, curve reproduction line and this is the diagonal line both passing through origin so equilibrium point is here origin is the equilibrium point uh, if x0 is the initial point so uh, we uh, go to vertical upward up to the reproduction curve then uh, go by horizontal to the diagonal then vertically upwards to reproduction curve then uh, go horizontally uh, up to uh, diagonal and so on so uh, we see that this is the uh, x0 is the initial approximation then x1 x2 and so on x x3 and so on so solution clearly uh, diverges solutions diverge and from uh, the equilibrium point but if r is less than 1 0 less than r less than 1 then uh, this is the diagonal line y equal to x that is xt plus 1 equal to xt and the reproduction line 
is this xt plus 1 equal to rxt so if x0 is the initial value so uh, first we go vertically uh, up to the reproduction line and then go uh, through horizontally up to diagonal and then uh, vertically downward up to reproduction line and this way this way this way so is the equilibrium point is the intersecting point of the diagonal and the reproduction line so cob wave for the geometrical solution converge to the origin this equilibrium point so here uh, equilibria uh, point origin is stable equilibrium and in this case when r is greater than one the equilibrium point is unstable equilibrium because the solutions uh, diverge to infinity now uh, density dependent growth uh, density dependence occurs if the number of offspring per adult varies with density is population density here and the model actually uh, in continuous case uh, the um, uh, in logistic growth model is dnd equal to r bracket 1 minus n by k uh, into n so here the um, uh, density uh, dependent growth so uh, we put here um, corresponding uh, discrete model is this nt plus 1 minus nt equal to r 1 minus nt by k uh, nt so nt plus 1 equal to uh, this expression is this so number of offspring per adult that means nt plus 1 by nt number of offspring per adult so this is equal to 1 plus r minus r by k into nt this is the linear this is a linearly decreasing function First uh, reading xt by r by 1 plus r nt by k and mu equal to 1 plus r so we get uh, this uh, xt plus 1 uh, put here uh, nt equal to nt equal to xt into k 1 plus r divided by r and after simplification you get the result uh, xt plus 1 equal to mu xt bracket 1 minus xt the advantage of this form 3 of discrete logistic model is that the interval uh, 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 so uh, we get the interval is this 0 less than x and less than 1 and is uh, standardized form normalized form of the um, logistic model uh, 1 logistic model 1 is the standardized form as invariant for when uh, mu lies between 0 less than or equal to mu less than or equal to 4 then x lies between 0 and 1 and equilibria for equilibria uh, instead uh, we put here nt plus 1 equal to nt equal to instead in 1 so we get uh, the equation this so uh, we get this equation so we get either instead equal to 0 or instead equal to 2 so we get two equilibria uh, first is origin and next is the carrying capacity Q. and the stability of the equilibria uh, this let fn equal to this fn equal to means nt plus 1 equal to fnt so if n equal to the right hand expression of the two uh, of the one so this nt plus one equal to this so if n equal to one plus r into n minus r by k into n square so uh, this if n equal to this and find f dash n one plus r minus two r n by k when n star equal to zero then f dash zero equal to one plus r so trivial equilibrium that is origin uh, is unstable uh, for r is greater than zero so uh, mod value modulus of f dash 0 is 1 plus r modulus of 1 plus r obviously greater than 1 so uh, by the theorem uh, this n star equal to 0 is, uns is an unstable equilibrium and for the uh, k n star equal to k equilibrium point n star equal to k f dash k uh, equal to 1 minus r so n star k equal to 1 plus 1 minus 1 n star equal to k the carrying capacity is asymptotically stable only for 0 less than r less than 2 uh, because uh, modulus value of desk equal to modulus value of 1 minus r is less than 1 for the uh, stability of the equilibrium so simplification this relation we get 0 less than r less than 2 then uh, then if r is lies between 0 and 2 then we get uh, n star equal to k uh, is lo locally asymptotically stable for this range and note that if uh, for small r greater than 2 uh, greater than 2 uh, say 2.001 or 1 2.1 trajectory tends towards a stable 2 cycle that is periodic solution of period 2 and at r equal to root 6 
we get a four cycle and so on so on so on so here this uh, standard equation standard distribution is this uh, for equilibria xt equal to mu xt 1 minus xt so we grab fx is equal to mu x 1 minus x mu x mu x 1 minus x so uh, this is the a, a is uh, a is the parameter so when uh, this uh, r when r is r is r is mm, greater than 0 r is greater than 0 so uh, instead that is a equal to greater than 0 instead equal to 0 is unstable so for this cobweb diagram if uh, a is greater than 0 so a equal to 2.6 so this is the uh, is the initial value uh, this is the initial value uh, x0 so I'm going uh, vertically upward to the uh, curve vertically uh, horizontally uh, this vertically horizontally this two points a equal to two points so uh, put here a equal to this so here uh, here if uh, origin is this suppose uh, this the initial value initial value is this here r equal to uh, 0.72 that is a equal to 0.72 this, uh, this is the initial value x star x0 so here clearly uh, by cobweb diagram we see that 0 is stable equilibrium because uh, these uh, upward vertical upward then horizontally uh, to the diagonal then vertically downward then horizontal to the diagonal vertically downward this this is approaches to the origin if r is um, r is r is what is this if uh, in this not when r r is stability if this r is greater than 0 if r lies between 0 and 2 let us say 0 and 2 then we get 0 less than 2 0 less than 2 when uh, uh, a a means greater than 1 greater than 1 when r is greater than 1 we get two equilibria we get two equilibria this origin equilibrium equilibrium and this point k intersecting point k so when r is greater than 1 here r is equal to 1.53 we get two equilibria this one and this one is k is k and if x0 is this then uh, by cop diagram cop diagram we get this k is uh, stable equilibrium but uh, if x0 is here if 0 is here uh, then also we get this uh, equilibrium is stable equilibrium when r equal to 1.53 but this origin is unstable because the uh, solution uh, diverge uh, from diverge from zero diverge from zero but converts to the equilibrium k converts to the equilibrium point k if r equal to r equal to uh, say 2 r equal to 2 r equal to 2 uh, we get this result and this also if r equal to greater than 2 r equal to greater than 2 then uh, we get this period 2 cycle of period 2 r is greater than 2 
So Pop Web is this type. In here, uh, the equilibrium point this k. So this is a period two. Period two. When greater than two this is a period two. Now this four cycle and two cycle. So here uh, we consider this when um, r equal to 1.9 we uh, get this uh, two cycle uh, pop wave okay. so k is the stable equilibrium and origin is the zero is the unstable equilibrium and this question uh, from 2021 of the following non homogeneous system and discuss the stability of the fixed point by using pop wave diagram xn plus 1 equal to 3 by 4 xn plus 10. First, we find the equilibrium point x star. So, xn plus 1 equal to xn equal to x star. Put in the equation 1 uh, using this from the given equation, we get x star equal to 40. And this is the fixed point of the given system. Now, uh, convention by convention, put xn plus 1 equal to y and xn equal to x. Then Mm, we get y equal to 3 by 4 x plus 10. So, uh, if we draw uh, this line, horizontal line a, as xn as x axis and vertical line xn plus 1 as y axis, and we draw the reproduction curve xn plus 1 equal to 3 by 4 xn that is y equal to 3x by 4 plus 10, and diagonal line uh, that is xn plus 1 equal to xn that is y equal to x, the intersecting point uh, is 40. 0 of these two lines gives the fixed point x to equal to 40. We draw the Cobb diagram in the next page and clearly x to equal to 40 is stable equilibrium point as the solution points x1, x2, x3 move closure to x to equal to 40 along xn axis. So this is the xn plus uh, 1 equal to 3 by 4 xn plus 10. This is the production curve and this dot dash line is the xn plus 1 equal to xn. So intersecting point is this. So uh, this is the x coordinate of this intersecting point is this x star equal to 40 is the only uh, equilibrium point of this equation. And obviously by Cobb wave diagram, if initial uh, x is here x0, so we get uh, up to this reproduction curve, then horizontally up to diagonal, then vertical up to the person curve horizontal vertical horizontal vertical horizontal vertical and so on so we uh, go to the uh, equilibrium point this intersecting point this so solutions x1 x2 x3 x4 um, converge to the equilibrium point x star so x star equal to 40 is stable equilibrium point consider the dynamical system xt plus 1 equal to xt square Find all equilibria. So x t square equal to x t, that is y equal to x square. Y equal to x square. So find all equilibria, determine the stability of the equilibria using calculus and grab the function and confirm the stability of the equilibria using cog waving. So first we find the equilibria. So for equilibria, we put x t plus 1 equal to x t equal to x star. And then from the given question, x star equal to x star square because xt plus 1 equal to xt square so x got taking common x star so bracket x star minus 1 so x star equal to 0 and x star equal to 1 so we get two equilibria x star equal to 0 and x2 star equal to 1 and the system is xt plus 1 equal to xt square equal to fxtc so uh, we um, call it this xt square xt, xt square equal to fxt so fx equal to x square then f dash x equal to x this is the by calculus uh, f dash x equal to x and for the equilibrium point x1 star equal to 0 f dash 0 equal to 0 and since modulus value of f dash 0 less than 1 the equilibrium x x1 star equal to 0 is stable equilibrium point so this is trivial equilibrium is stable equilibrium and this equilibrium x2 star equal to 1 f dash 2 equal to 2 obviously greater than 1 hence x2 star is an unstable equilibrium. So, uh, from graph, xt plus 1 equal to xt plus 1 equal to 
x square that is fx is equal to x square x square here omit this and draw this graph and so we get so this is the Excel value is this so we get two equilibria this origin x equal to 0 and other is x equal to 1 x equal to 1 so if initial x0 is here so x0 is here we get this x0 cob by cob wave is x0 is stable equilibria if x0 is So here one is unstable because these uh, solutions uh, approach to x0. If x0 If x0 is here 1.5, then we get this power wave is this. Power wave is this. So solutions this x0 this equilibrium point is this one and this zero so clearly when x0 is uh, greater than one so this is uh, go to vertically upward and then horizontally up to the diagonal then go to vertically upward and so solutions diverge so obviously this equilibrium x star equal to one is unstable Unstable. This is the cobweb wave diagram. Obviously, when x0 is here greater than 1, so cob by cobweb wave diagram, uh, this uh, diverges. The solutions diverge to infinity, but when x0 is less than 1, so these uh, solutions x1, x2 by cobweb wave, we see that these uh, solutions converge to zero so zero equilibrium point zero is stable equilibrium and this one x equal to one is unstable is an unstable uh, equilibrium this next question uh, xt plus one equal to r xt by xt plus e a question uh, from 2021 r is positive and e is greater than zero each is solution for different choice of the e cell values by cob waving method. Here reproduction curve xt plus 1 equal to this and put xt equal to x and xt plus 1 equal to y for simplicity. So this y equal to rx by x plus a. Here a is parameter greater than 0, r is parameter greater than 0. So this is the reproduction curve. And this curve intersects the line y equal to x that is xt plus 1 equal to xt. Uh, here put this. So y equal to x put here so x equal to rx by x plus a so this is the quality equation x square a minus r into x so we get x equal to 0 and x equal to r minus a so we get two equilibria and that is x star 1 x 1 star equal to 0 and x 2 star equal to r minus a now if uh, it limit extends to infinity y that is equal to extends to infinity y that's equal to rx by x plus a and divide uh, on numerator and denominator by x so r by 1 plus a by x this extends to so a by x tends to 0 so we get r so y tends to r when x tends to infinity so y equal to r 
is an asymptote of the reproduction curve and slope of this curve is given by dy dx equal to ra by x plus a whole square uh, because y equal to rx by x plus a so dy dx equal to this so at x equal to 0 dy dx equal to r by a so we get two cases if r is greater than a then r by a greater than 1 so dy dx at the point x0 is greater than 1 this shows that the slope of the curve near x0 near x equal to 0 is greater than 1 that is theta is greater than 45 and which is higher than the slope of the line y equal to x and therefore the line y equal to x will be below the reproduction curve near x equal to 0. Since the reproduction curve will be asymptotic to the line y equal to r, it will again meet the line y equal to x. Therefore, the reproduction curve intersects the line y equal to x at the point x equal to 0 and x equal to r minus a, giving two equilibrium points of the system 1. So, here the equation is rx by x plus a r x by r x by x plus a x plus a here yeah, this is the we consider here only the first quadrant the line when when uh, r is greater than a 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 so put here r equal to 2 r is greater than a put here r is 0 and r is 10 unit 10 so we put here r is equal to greater than a so r is greater than a so here a is 1 and r is 2 so we get 2 uh, equilibria 2 equilibria one is this 0 and other is this other is this intersecting point if x0 is 1.5 then by curve wave we get this this uh, r minus a equilibria uh, this point is stable equilibria so uh, from this when r is greater than a suppose r is greater than a suppose a is equal to 1 and r equal to 2 so we get uh, we get a higher slope this 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 and x equal to so r minus a 2 minus 1 give the two equilibrium points of the system and stability of the equilibria if we take x0 less than r minus a so x0 less than r minus a if we take x0 is here less than r minus a here less than 1 that is 2 minus 1 that is 1 then uh, by curve wave we get uh, this uh, solution uh, converts to the r minus a r minus a means this point is 1 so x x equal to r minus a is, is a uh, locally asymptotical locally asymptotical stable equilibrium point minus a but x1 equal to 0 is unstable equilibrium from this curve uh, this by curve wave if x0 starting from this x0 is here so uh, these solutions uh, going away from the equilibrium point 0 so 0 is unstable equilibrium Unstable equilibrium. X zero equal to zero to ten. So 
is unstable equilibria passed on this and and if r is less than e that is a is greater than r is less than a so if r is less than a r is less than a so put here r is 1 and a is 2 so then uh, clearly we get from this figure we get is the uh, red line is the diagonal lines uh, y equal to x and this uh, black curve is the uh, reproduction curve uh, y equal to rx by x plus e so we get intersecting point only one is the original origin is the equilibrium point intersecting point so this is uh, x0 is here by cobweb. wave we see the solutions um, uh, solution go to the origin by cobweb. wave so here when r is r is equal to 1.3 and a is 2.7 so now when r is less than a then uh, only we get only one equilibrium point and this equilibrium point is stable equilibrium point so a line y equal to x lies above the production curve here and this x y equal to x at the origin and gives me a unique equilibrium of the system from the cover to the two and the stable equilibrium point so uh, we get this um, when r is greater than a we get this curve the production curve and this the diagonal is this so we see that this the um, r minus a is stable equilibrium when r is greater than a and when r is less than a and this and the production curve is below the uh, diagonal and the only one equilibrium point and this equilibrium point obviously uh, stable equilibrium point locally asymptotically stable equilibrium point when x t is here and this is the cobweb uh, cobweb by cobweb we get this this solution um, and goes solutions go to the equilibrium point uh, locally stable equilibrium point and mcq is this number of stable equilibrium points of the following system xt plus 1 equal to rxt by xt plus a r is greater than a greater than 0 is 0 1 2 3 so clearly 1 uh, clearly 1 and x star equal to r minus e stable equilibrium point so your question is the number of stable equilibrium points not equilibrium points stable equilibrium points so here uh, two equilibrium points uh, r is greater than a so r is greater than a when r is greater than a r is greater than a r is greater than a and a is this suppose a is a is positive greater than 0 r uh, is 1 r is greater than uh, is 1 and r is 2 so we get r is greater than a we get two equilibria one is below trivial equilibria and the other is r minus a the question is the number of stable equilibria so clearly we see that uh, r minus a is the only one stable equilibria now consider the following linear difference equation of the population group is xn plus 1 equal to kxn by v plus xn does the equation have the steady state if so is that steady state stable or find the equilibrium point put xn plus 1 equal to xn equal to x star so we get x star equal to 0 and x star equal to k minus b and when k minus b positive that is k is greater than b and then uh, if steady state is stable and for this del f del x here a is here a is the xn plus 1 equal to kxn by b plus xn so afx is kx by b b plus x the right hand expression of this xn plus 1 equal to this so this right hand expression is fx so find f dash x 
to find f dash x and that is df dx. So df dx at the point x1 equal to 0 is k by d and df dx at the point x2 star equal to k minus b, b by k. So obviously here um, question b and k is positive. The steady steady stable, question is steady steady stable whether uh, if df dx x star is negative, in the modulus value is negative, condition of stability the steady state. So k is greater than b. K we have already have k is greater than b because k is greater than b uh, for if k is less than b, k is less than b, then this is negative. So obviously uh, the biologically meaning meaningful uh, for this population negative population would be biologically meaningless so k minus b greater than 0 so obviously k is greater than b so when k is greater than b then uh, k by b is less than 1 so x1 star is x1 star is b by k is less than 1 so b by k is less than 1 by k by b is greater than 1 and b by k is less than 1. So x1 star is unstable and x2 star k by b is stable. Is stable. So if we draw k and b plane and this when k equal to b line. So if k is greater than b, x2 star equal to k minus b is stable. And if k is less than b, x1 star equal to 0 is stable other is unstable that is x2 star is unstable but for biologically meaningful population that is k is greater than b so k is greater than b means this so this portion of this graph is biologically meaningful for x2 star equal to k minus b is stable for this equation next question xt plus 1 equal to xt star xt star by xt square plus e has three equilibrium points of which one is unstable and other two are stable if r is greater than 2 root a so r x square x square plus a r x square x square plus a so we consider only first quadrant so this here the intersecting points are uh, this origin 0 and this point this point and this point and this point so we get here three point three points three equilibrium points is uh, one this one x coordinate of this point intersecting points and this point x coordinate and this point so we get three equilibria for the system r x square by x square plus e now we uh, get uh, which one is stable unstable and other two is stable if r is greater than two root e so first we find uh, this uh, y equal to x put here x t plus one equal to y and x t equal to x and uh, put o y equal to x and we get the intersecting points x equal to 0 uh, inter coordinates of the x coordinates of the intersecting points x equal to 0 and x equal to r plus minus root of r, r square minus 4a by 2 if r square minus 4a by 4a is greater than 0 the discriminant is positive that is r is greater than 2 root a then there are three real and distinct points so equilibria points are given by x1 star equal to 0 x2 star equal to r minus root of r of this by 2 x3 star equal to r plus root of r of this by 2 but if discriminant is negative then only one real equilibrium point x star equal to 0 because uh, these are imaginary these are imaginary so uh, we get only one equilibrium point now we find dy dx uh, dy dx is y equal to this so find dy dx dy dx at the point 0 equal to 0 uh, then the x axis is the tangent to the curve at the origin so clearly from this figure uh, this x axis x axis is the tangent uh, to this curve x axis is the tangent to this curve dy dx 
to come to zero. The curve will lie below the line y equal to x near origin. Curve below the line y equal to x. This red line is y equal to x. So curve uh, lie below the line y equal to x near the origin. And also uh, limit x tends to infinity y equal to r equal to r. This shows that the line y equal to r is an asymptote of the curve. So here leave from this figure this line is asymptote is this. So uh, this line this line is asymptote is this. The asymptote is this. So from the asymptote is this. So clearly of the horizontal line uh, passing to this, the asymptote of this curve is this uh, uh, x equal to y equal to r, y equal to r asymptote of this line. If r is greater than 2 root a, that is, the discriminant is positive, then all solution with initial value x0 is less than x2 star. So, x2 star, so from this, uh, this one. Enlarge this picture here from the first for the first quadrant. This point, this x zero and x one x one star. We call it x one star, and this point is called x two star, and this point is called x three star. This point is x three star, x two star, and x x one star. So when um, x0 is less than x2 star when x0 this point is x0 initial value less than x2 star so x0 is this so the solutions uh, go to the origin so origin is clearly locally asymptotic is stable but x2 star is unstable when x, x0 is less than x2 star and the solution tends to x1 x1 star and when solution x0 x0 less than x2 star x2 star is this x2 star equal to r minus this and x3 star is equal to r uh, plus this so x1 star equal to 0 so when x0 is less than x2 star x0 x1 x2 x3 x0 less than x2 star x0 instead of x0 less than x2 star x tends to x1 star x1 star means 0 origin origin but the solution with initial value greater than initial value x0 greater than x2 star so solution greater than x2 star x2 star is here so solution greater than x2 star is this so from this figure we by cobweb we clearly observe that this uh, solution uh, go to the x3 star and go to x3 star so greater than x2 star the solution tend to the point x3 star so x1 star that is 0 trivial equilibrium is stable but x2 star is unstable so all solution with initial value uh, greater than x0 greater than x3 star so if we solution value greater than x3 star so greater than x3 star greater than x3 star so from this figure cobweb wave diagram so solution uh, converts to in the point x3 star and this intersecting point x2 star and this intersecting point is x1 star converts to x3 star this point is x3 star x coordinate of this point but if r is less than 2 root a then all solution with positive initial value tends to x1 star 0 so x1 star is Stable equilibrium point. We draw the cobweb in figure for the both page in next page. For this, uh, we get this. This is called x1 star, this is called x2 star, point, this is called x3 star, and then y equal to r asymptote. So x3 star is stable equilibrium point, x2 star unstable, 
and x constant is also double equilibrium point and in this case for when r is greater than 2 root a but when r is less than 2 root a so we get only one equilibrium point x0 typical equilibrium point obviously this equilibrium point is stable equilibrium point because if we choose x0 is here so by cob we uh, observe that the solutions uh, go to the x x x constant that is zero trivial solution so here for this case x x star equal to zero is the stable equilibrium point locally asymptotically stable equilibrium point next question find the equilibrium points and investigate their stabilities for the following discrete logistic growth system xt plus one equal to one plus r xt minus r xt square by k r and k both positive where r is the growth rate and k is the environmental carrying capacity so put here xt plus one equal to y and xt equal to x and the right hand expression equal to fxa and put y equal to x to find equilibrium point so we get x equal to zero and x equal to k we get two equilibria x1 star equal to zero and x2 star equal to k now f dash x equal to this to find f dash at the point 0 is 1 plus r and f dash at the point k equal to 1 minus r so modulus value of f dash 0 equal to 1 plus r and modulus value of dash k equal to modulus 1 minus r r is positive as r is positive as r is positive modulus of f dash r is obviously greater than 1 so 0 here 0 is an unstable equilibrium point and if modulus of 1 minus r less than 1 uh, this implies uh, minus 2 less than minus r less than 0 that is 0 less than r less than 2 so uh, we get we get fx f dash f dash x modulus f dash x uh, equal to modulus of 1 minus r is less than 1 when 0 less than r less than 2 so obviously uh, x2 star uh, equal to k is a stable equilibrium point obviously we get stable equilibrium point when 0 less than r less than 2 so uh, for this curve 1 plus r x minus 1 plus r x one plus r into x one plus r into x minus r x square by k r x square by k r x square um, by k here k parameter we we'll delete the parameter a so we get this equation is figure is this now if r is greater than zero oh, so if that's zero is greater than one so x one star equal unstable equilibrium clearly uh, if we put this this unstable equilibrium give is unstable equilibrium the solutions uh, goes away from origin here the two intersecting points this zero and other is uh, this other is this uh, other is means k this current capacity k this point is intersecting is k is one is k so we get k equal to one so get k equal to one so get this so k equal to one uh, if we put zero less than r less than two zero less than r less than two so we get this and r equal to this clearly we see that by cob wave diagram the uh, solutions go to the point that is one here equal to one here so 
this key this point key is the locally asymptotically stable but r lies between 0 less than or less than 2 but this origin o is unstable is an unstable key. but if r is greater than 2 for interest if r is greater than 2 and we get this is the uh, period of two cycle period of two cycle and this so we get this it will figure for this thank you we conclude our lecture for cob waving and all of these today's class note and these uh, Desmos application uh, given in the description box so follow the description box uh, to get the PDF of this lecture.